Okay, the OB2 system. The second generation was designed to fix inadequacies of the first generation. An example would be OBD1 did not check for misfires, system checks, or rationality. Meaning, if the car had a misfire, it would not set the light. Uh, system checks would be like, let's say that the computer told the EVAP purge ball to come on. The PCM never knew, or slash ECM never knew it came on. It just knew it gave a command to turn on. So it didn't really do a system check. Rationality, OBD1 did not do rationality. All they checked was opens, shorts and opens. So if you had an open circuit or a shorter circuit, the light would come on. So OBD2, OBD1 is different than OBD2. OBD2 is an improvement of OBD1. OBD2 also started in 1996, all right? And some vehicles phases in between at 1994. Here's a 16 pin connector. Every scan throughout the 1996 should, every vehicle had the same diagnostic, diagnostic connector. And every scan tool, generic OBD2 scan tool, should be able to connect to this connector. Now, here are some important pins you should be aware, aware of. Pin four, chassis ground. Pin five, sensor ground. All right. They don't have it down here, but pin 16 is the battery power. So you got four, chassis ground, five, sensor ground, and 16, the power to turn the scan to on. The, the check engine light only came on if it was over 1.5 times the FPT, FTP standards. If the emissions are one and a half over the FTP standards and further emissions, meaning you don't have an analyzer on the on the car, so it's inferred emissions. If it was 1.5 over the standard, it would turn, it would fail the test and turn the light on. Or when the PCM networks itself malfunction, the mill should not be used for any other purpose. Basically, what I'm saying is that mill light, check engine light, only came on for emissions related codes and never came on for anything else. So if that light's on, it's an emissions related failure. Uh, DTC numbering, the first digit would be a powertrain, chassis, for P for powertrain, C for chassis, it's a B, it's a body code, it's a U, it's a multiplexing network code. The second digit, either generic, if it's a zero, one, two, or three, it's a manufacturer Pacific code. The third digit is the system. Of the 100 position that's a system that's at fault fuel system uh fuel air metering like injector pump 300 would be a misfire ignition 400 would be emission controls so that would be the system like p0404 right emission control system uh p0301 misfire zone number one Then we got 500, 600, and 700, and 800. Also, 100 different systems that could be a fault that turn a light on. And yes, there could be a transmission code and, and turn on the mill light. Type A codes, type B codes, and type C and D codes. A type, K, a type A code is usually a one trip code. As soon as the problem, as soon as the problem is detected, it turns on the light. Uh, you say cat damaging misfire. At type A code, also if you see a light blinking at you, the check engine light blinking. That means that's a severe misfire. A, a, a severe misfire is going to damage the catalytic converter. Also, that would be a type A code. Also, a type B code is a two trip failure. Meaning, if it failed one time, left the penalty code. If it fails again, a light will come on. It's a two trip failure that failed once. A type B code is actually a two trip failure. And it can fail one time, light not be on. If it fails a second time, the light will come on. 
and see it decode not emission related codes but it could store codes in the system but not turn on the light but will not turn on the light okay that's a basic over to oh I'm sorry over to that's a basic DTC designations so make sure you understand those and I'll see you in the next one